Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make this countdown timer using chat, GPT and Webflow without writing a single line of code. So the first thing I did is I went over to ChatGPT and I just wrote in the simple request, write a jQuery script counting down the days, hours, minutes and seconds between today and a date in the future. And this beautiful piece of code was just printed, written, whatever you want to call it, in less than a minute. So what we're going to do now is just copy this code and we're going to put it into our Webflow project. We're back here in Webflow and I'm going to go into the page settings and down here to this custom code section. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you put an opening and closing script tags here in your custom code. Otherwise this piece of code that was AI generated will not work and then just paste it in, paste the code in between those two tags. Now there's two things that I think are important in that all you need to know in this code is the date. So this is the date that's meant to be in the future, but the um, chat GTP gave me the date uh, that's already gone. We've gone by it. So that's important to note for, and this down here, demo, this word demo, that's the ID. So if you see get element by ID, this is going to be important for injecting the results of this code into our Webflow project. Now, if you just take one note of this here, this date, because it's in the past, the code that we should be generating that should be injected should be the word expired. So this will be a nice little test for us because we've passed this date. This little piece of code here, this if statement says that if we get past the date, the word what is going to be replaced um, in where the ID is, is the word expired. OK, so I'm just going to save this and we're going to set up are set up here inside in Webflow. So you can see here, I've got days, hours, minutes, and seconds. This is doing nothing at the moment. It's just a styled piece of text, but we're gonna click on this. And over here in the settings tab, in ID, now this is usually used in Webflow for um, linking in pages, but we can use it to inject the piece of code that we've just AI generated into this element here. So now that that's done, I'm just going to double check, publish, and hopefully this will work. Now that the site is published, I'm gonna to go to the live site and you can see here, we've got the word expired. So that shows me that the if statement is working. Now, I've, I've, we obviously want this to be counting down days into the future. So we're gonna adjust the code to make sure that that's working too. And go back in here, settings, down to custom code. We're gonna change this date here to 2024. I'm gonna save, press publish again. And now that it's published, we're going to go into our live site. And you can see here that the site is counting down 353 days into the future. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how, uh, how I've used this and a project that I'm working in at the, at the moment was, and using the Webflow CMS. So I've got in here um, an events template. And we're going to use, if we go into the events CMS, this is just the automated content that Webflow have uh, has populated here for us. And if you can see down here, we've got a start date. So this is perfect for what we're trying to do. Think of this if you're using maybe a concert or ticket sales, something like that, and you wanted to add a bit of scarcity, that you could have this really cool countdown timer showing um, how many days, weeks, months, and seconds are, are until the, the event starts, or until maybe ticket sales um, run out, something like that. So I'm going to save this and we're going to go into our events page. Okay, so inside here in the events page, we don't have anything. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the stuff from the home page, copy the page wrapper. I'm going to inject it in here into the events template. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code from the home page down here in the settings. I'm going to copy that because this code here is specific just to the home page. We could add this to the global settings, um, the global uh, custom code, but when you put it into these pages, it only works on the individual page that you've inject, uh, pasted the code into. So I've copied that. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go into the events table template and add that code now. So just open this up. And down here in the custom code section, just paste in the code, and we're going to click Save. Now, 
<clears throat> I'm going to publish this, and we're going to, sh uh, and I'm going to, um, this will work. And what it will do is it's going to show the exact same results as this page. Yeah, exactly. So what we're seeing here is the dates into the future. So now how do we make that that it's customized for each of these pages? Now, it's not that difficult. We, just, we have to just connect the Webflow CMS to this piece of custom code. So we go back in here into our settings, down to the custom code, and you see here the date. Now, we, uh, we have a date. Uh, we've got a, a part of the Webflow CMS that we can add our date into. We've got the start date. So we're going to go down here, highlight the date, 1st of January 2024, and we're going to add in our field start date and time okay so we're going to leave this one here midnight because midnight is the start of the day and we don't need to update that if we click save everything else is the same the id dem demo should already be in this because i just copied it over now we're going to publish this and then when i refresh that page it should show a different countdown okay so now that the site is published what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through all of these cms pages and I'm just going to open them up and we're going to, or maybe not all of them, I'll open up a few of them and we'll see what has happened with our code. Okay, so the original page is whoop, one of these up here, but we'll just go into this one here. So we can see from our URL that we're in event and we've got this random piece of text and the countdown time on each of these pages is all different, showing that there's a different countdown timer and this is the original one. Uh, oh no. This is the original one here, the home page. So that's it. That's how I use um, ChatGTP to make um, really to write out some jQuery super quick and super easy for myself and add it into one of my Webflow projects.